Hi everybody, Father Bill, and this is the Friday Reflection. And I have a special guest. You know I have special guests often, right? Well, this one you might be familiar with. <gasps> Guess who that is? That's Aaron. Hi, Aaron. Hey, Father Bill. Well, we were just uh, yip-yapping at the opposite. We're actually in the opposite, you can't tell. <laughs> we were talking about RCIA. And Aaron's in charge of the RCIA. And I've joined the RCIA as, a, as one of the catechists. Thanks be to God. That's been great. Oh, that's, it has been fun. Yeah. And Well, maybe you can share something about like how, how many people do we have now in RCIA? Because you know, I, I came from St. Anne, and we'd have maybe five to maybe ten, maybe. And that's just because of the size of the church. But Holy Trinity is a very big place. We currently have 28 people seeking to join the faith or to complete their sacraments. So thanks be to God, it's been a great year. And I got an email today for two more. What? Yes, it's unbelievable. The Holy Spirit is alive and well in Beaverton, right? Yeah, you know, I love about the RCA and I'm a cradle Catholic. So that means I was born and raised as a Catholic and I kind of take it for granted. I can't imagine being another faith tradition. And then these folks come and they're coming from all kinds of, from nothing to maybe even a pagan religion or maybe a, a, a Protestant tradition or maybe they are a Catholic that hasn't been practicing. Um, but it's just amazing to see people kind of turning their lives in this way. And it's really inspiring, I must say. If, uh, if you've ever seen people that are excited about the faith, you know what I'm talking about. They're all excited. And when we were getting together, about just having some faith sharing, there wasn't a real hesitancy to do faith sharing. They're all like wanting to chat and talk, and it was exciting. No, it's been great. And then, you know, in addition to that, I think we have seven, actually nine people on the RCIA team. Now, these are... That's right. This is a big team, too. <laughs> yes, it is. So we've got nine people on the team. Some are ex rcia -er. Okay, so that's a technical term. That's what I call them. Uh -huh. So rcia -er, or a former or a graduate rcia -er. And so some of the people on the team, you know, fall into that category. And some just love to be with people that are on fire with wanting to become Catholic. You know, it becomes an inspiring conversation every week that we get together. So it's amazing. And like I said, I'd rather be nowhere else on a Tuesday night. It is fun. So last week we did a tour of the church. And I probably should have had a different microphone. It was a little hard for everybody to hear. It's a little echoey in the church. But we did a scavenger hunt in the church. Can you imagine doing a scavenger, <laughs> scavenger hunt in the church? So, so even the team loves it. So, you know, I got yeah. emails afterwards. They said, oh, this is our favorite session because we have a scavenger hunt and our RCIAers pair up and they find things. And of course, I've labeled them with tags and they mm -hmm. find them. And So maybe you could do a scavenger hunt when you come to Mass next. So this coming Sunday, see, what are the things that we were looking for? So I'll try to figure these out and maybe add some. So number mm -hmm. one, this may be not so hard, but the altar. Do you know where the altar is? <laughs> I hope you do. Yeah, if you don't, you, you flunked, okay? <laughs> it might be in the center of the church. That's right. So the altar, there's also a tabernacle. Do you know what that is and where it is? And did you know we have two of them? <gasps> okay, and so maybe what's that about? Second one is harder to find. It, yes, it is. It's you know, special people that like to pray a lot, happen to know where that is. And you need a combination to get in there. Now we're sound, it's sounding like it's like an Indiana Jones kind of message, <laughs> That's right? right. Okay, so that's two. So what's another one? Uh, oh, a missile, the Roman missile. Also, it used to be called the sacramentary. Right. I kind of flunked. I called it the sacramentary because I've been around the Catholic things for a long time. Well, I remember it being sacramentary, and when they changed it to the Roman missile, there was a translation change in 2011. Um, it's, it was hard because uh, it's no longer a dynamic equivalence into, from Latin to English. It was a literal equivalence. And, well, there's a lot of compound sentences and de dependent clauses, and I kind of goof it up. And there's other ways of saying certain things that I just, well, I still, if I leave, my eyes leave the page while I happen to be using it, then, 
Well, then I say the old stuff. So anyhow, so that's what. Even if it's old, it works, right? Well, that's, that's, real that's true, that's true. So that's, uh, okay, and then there's a lectionary. So there's a Roman Missal. A lectionary, do you know what that is? The, and there were two places that look kind of the same, that's but true. have different names. The other one's a gospel book, or book of the gospels. These are all red books, and so it really confused people. And they're big, and they're all thick. And uh, here's something that we didn't do in RCIA. So there's the Roman Missal. But there's a version that's called an abbreviated Roman Missal. We call it the Book of the Chair. And the big thick one, we kind of call the Book of the Altar. And I'll, I'll let you figure out, maybe you might know what that is. If you're seeing this on Facebook, you can go ahead and put your comments in and see if you know what all these are. So that's, <laughs> uh, what else is there that we were doing? Well, there are the locations where you use the Book of the Gospel. Mm -hmm. And there's another place in the church that looks just like it. That's right. But it's called something different. We're not going to tell them what the name is. Maybe you have to guess what it is. So that would be mystery item one and mystery item two. <laughs> okay. And then there was uh, the baptismal font. And Oh, I don't think this was an actual item, but you know what the nave is? The nave. And so if I'm looking out at you, I'm navel gazing. <laughs> okay, that's a bad joke. It was the good, well, everybody in RCIA laughed. Yes. So they thought it was great. Okay. Uh, and then there's the sanctuary. Where's the sanctuary? Yeah, I even labeled it. So, I don't know, you're going to have to think a little bit about where it is. Okay, what else was in that list? We had, let's see, we said that, um, the credence table. Credence table. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's good. That's a good one. We had the choir well, I think we all know where the choir is, right? Right. Okay, yeah. We have the pew. Oh, they, those don't stink, but they're called <laughs> pews. I don't know why they're called pews. By the way, those are, if I'm not mistaken, pews are an American invention, and the whole world is thankful for it because we can sit easily and kneel easily. If you go to, like, uh, St. Peter's Basilica in Rome or St. Paul outside the walls, also in Rome. Well, actually, that's in Rome. St. Peter's is in, is in Vatican City. There's no pews. They actually have to bring them in and so people can sit in chairs and various things. But otherwise, it's just a big, massive space with no furniture whatsoever. I know. I've been in places like that in mm -hmm. Italy. Yeah. San Remo. San Remo? Yeah. I've never been there. What is that? Uh, you know, it's funny. It's kind of like the Nashville of Italy, if you will. And oh, I was there they for... play like country music there? Not really, but it's, it's like a place like that. Oh, okay. And I went to a Christian music festival. Oh, yeah, it was pretty okay. cool. Okay. Well, we Catholic Christians have lots of detailed, and you said it yourself, uh, in RCA, we have titles for everything. We name everything, like an mm -hmm. aspergellum. Let's see if you know what that is. An aspergellum. He made me get it. Guess what? It wet people when he shook it at them. Mm -hmm. You got an idea of what that is? You know, the sprinkling right at... Mm. Yeah. Easter. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I do know the word aspergillum comes from the Latin aspergis, which means to sprinkle. Are you getting it? I hope you're getting this. <laughs> See, it's fun. You should come to RCA. Yeah. So you showed him two other things that we have two of, where you vest and where oh, you work. That's right. These are special spaces where I vest and put on just my alb and a chasuble over the clothes that I already have. So I'm not really changing clothes, but I'm just putting more clothes on and altar server is also there and the other one where other things are done prepared like a, a chalice do you know what a chalice is or a patent do you know what a patent is you said you gotta come to our cia if you're not catholic and you're interested in becoming catholic this is your chance it's not too late you can come join us and you can be number 29 in our class or number 30 because apparently we just keep growing yes we do we don't say no Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we do the best we can. Well, yeah, if you came like the day before Easter, we probably make you come again. Yeah, because we can't cram nine months into one day. But, like I said, reach out. We don't say no. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else? I think that's all I can think of. That's... Well, anyhow, that's enough items. And I'll put, if you can write these down, because I can't remember the order we just went into. It was kind of, we're just winging this, right? This is the whole idea of the... Uh, Friday, or yours is a Wednesday video. Uh, 
not much scripted, just kind of on the top of our heads talking. And I hope that if, when you come to Mass, start looking around. If you're a parent, maybe you could write some of these things down for your children and see if they can figure out where these things are. And if they don't know where they are, maybe you can take them personally to them. That's right. Okay, well, folks, that's it for now. We will see you at Mass. Deacon Brett is preaching, and I, when we were preparing, we have like a committee that we kind of help discern and, and reflect on what maybe be preaching. He's got an awesome homily coming. It's gonna be so up. you've got to be there. It's going to be on the edge of your seats. You know who else is going to show up? And this is the most important, Jesus. He's <gasps> going to show up. He does every time. Yes, he does. He shows up in the Eucharist primarily, but he also shows up in the community. He shows up when the word is proclaimed. It's him proclaiming itself. I mean, him who's proclaiming through the reader. Thanks be to God. All right, everybody. Take care, and we'll see you then. Bye now. Bye.